Hello again, most esteemed viewers. My name is Jekyllstein Gray, and today we are starting with the first indie game I ever played. Shovel Knight, and what an indie game it is. Let's just... Let's just make sure I got all the... Alrighty, so, Shovel Knight, Treasure Trove, I love, love, love this game. Um, I actually have only played a tiny bit of King of Cards, so I'm, we're going to go in release order for this series, uh, assuming I don't abandon it halfway through, which is entirely possible. I have finished this game several times, though. Um, so we're going to start with Shovel of Hope, then do King of Cards, and then do... Um, uh, uh, sorry, Shovel of Hope, Plague of Shadows, Spectral Torment, King of Cards. Um, let's begin. Oh, wow. This is... I've done this so many times. This game is... It's funny because I... It's funny, I, okay, I actually grew up playing the NES. Um, uh... Um, uh... Out of friend's house, but I wasn't alive for the sort of. I have nostalgia for kind of have nostalgia for an NES, but I was born. My, my I was here my birth year with the GameCube, so. But um so and uh, and I didn't really spend a lot of time. It was it, a friend of our family friend had an NES, and I would play it. Um, I would play Super Mario Brothers, which I'm, I'm actually kind of embarrassed to admit I was terrible. At, um, uh, I was terrible at, um, at, um, I was, sorry, I was terrible at 2D Mario, and I'm still weirdly bad at it, and when I first played this game, a friend of mine showed me this game, and, um, thank you, by the way, for doing that. Um, also, if, if you hate my content, if any of you guys hate my content, blame him. He's probably the reason I got into indie games in the first place. Um, and, um, that's why I'm not saying his name. <laughs> um, I must protect his identity. Wear the mask and... <laughs> um, so... And this game was actually really hard for me um, when I first played it. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not, I, I'm not, sorry, I just want to get all the stuff out, all the, you know, baggage and whatnot. Um, anyway, um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, yeah, I got this game on sale on the Humble Bundle. It's funny because a couple of days ago I was like, yeah, I want to play, do a Shovel Knight series, but it needs to go on sale first. Um, and then, like, I was just waiting it to take a while, then I was like, oh, it's on sale on the Humble Bundle. All right. Um... So this was the original first game. I don't think there's enough to do Jekyllstein, but let's see. Um. Okay. Why? Uh. Ah, Jekyllstein. Um, you know what? Jekyllstein is close enough. I actually do want to do body swap mode. And if you have a problem with that, just leave and, and unsubscribe if you're subscribed. And, um, fuck you. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna do... We're just gonna here. Hold on. Just gonna do all opposites. Um. Uh, yeah, all opposites. All right. Wait, no. Oh yeah, we got non-binary pronouns. 
I don't know. I I am I'm, I'm all for them using non-binary pronouns. Um, I think that the um. Uh, hold on. There we go. Okay. Um, I think that the. How do I put this? Um, I feel weird, kind of like assigning non-binary to. I don't know. Uh, I'm glad that they did it, but I kind of feel weird choosing specific characters to give non-binary pronouns. Um, but, yeah. Um, also, it's kind of weird, you know, as much as I think the, um, the gender swap mode is good, and, and how much the backlash against it has been, frankly, just ridiculous, um, uh, it's weird that it only happened, it, it's only in Shovel of Hope, as far as I can tell. Maybe they changed it in a patch. Um, I don't under really understand why. Um, uh, it can't have been that much more work to apply it, but maybe I'm, I don't know. It's probably more than I thought. I don't know. Maybe they just, I don't know. 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 Um, uh, is there anything else I gotta get out of the way? Um... Oh yeah, I'm playing this on the keyboard for the first time, um, which uh, I think should go fine, but it's gonna, I'm going to take some getting used to. So here we have the intro. Very kind of basic, um, uh, we have this kind of very basic um, uh, NES intro, you know. Um, the story is actually less generic and, um, and actually more affecting than it seems at first. Especially, I especially like the stories of, um, Plague of Shadows and, uh, uh Spectre of Torment. Um, again, I can't talk about King of Cards, but, um, we'll get to there eventually. Um, uh, yeah, so... Trying to think about what else. Um, uh, game does nostalgia really well. You know, Mark Brown's video is kind of my, my general, I generally sums up my thoughts on that. Um, uh, I think that. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? It's kind of funny because I remember it. This first level, um, the Planes of Passage, being super hard for me. Like, it'd probably be embarrassing. I'm still not a huge platformer guy. Uh, well, I take it back. I kind of am. Um, uh, Alright, K and L. Alright. Yes, it's not that bad. It's not... I tried playing Super Meat Boy with a keyboard once, and that was not fun. It's so weird to think, like, I had problems with this level. I mean, again, I hadn't played a platformer, you know, I hadn't played a retro platformer in years, and I, and I was terrible. Like, I saw it as an achievement, I remember, I still remember this, I remember seeing it as an achievement just for, just for getting to World 1-3 in Super Mario Bros. I, I rarely got past World War 1, uh, World War 1. World 1-1, one, one. um, um, let alone World 1-3. Like, I would get to the first bar and I would always, yeah, I'm, I am still really bad at 2D Mario games. Um, but I have gotten fairly good at, at Shovel Knight. Um, I still haven't done New Game Plus, because... The friend who recommended it to me, I remember he, I watched him trying to do one of the last levels on New Game Plus, and I was like, yeah, no thanks. And here we got a fun, useless button. Also, I'm not going to break any of the checkpoints, so say what you want about me, you know, call me a coward or a casual or, um, um, and whatever, I don't really care. Um... I do like the checkpoint breaking idea, um, especially. I mean, I know I don't break checkpoints normally, but I def I especially don't when I'm um, when I'm on a um, 
uh, doing a let's play now, because if I die, I don't want you guys, you seeing viewers, to have to watch, um, more of it. You know, yeah, you know what I mean. Oh man, this song, it, it still might be my favorite song in this whole, um, well, one of the Shield Knight songs is good, too. Sometimes I wish the secrets in this game were a little bit better hidden. I mean, I, I'll take them. I'll take them like the way they are, and rather than um, rather than um, like the kind in Zelda One, where it's like. You need to bomb everything, or I hope you have a strategy guide. What internet? That's never gonna be a thing. Freaking. Yeah, I'm still having trouble getting used to these controls. So, my apologies to Jake Kaufman if for some godforsaken reason he's listening. I love the shovel drop ability. Especially, I mean, it felt really novel to me at the time, because again, I didn't play Zelda 2 and or DuckTales NES, so yeah. I actually kind of wonder why this game enchanted, because most of the time I'm not a big fan of these types of, you know, that, well, ah, oh, frick. Yeah, that was stupid of me. Um, at least there's no lives. Um, oh, whew, that was way closer. Um, that was not intentional. Yeah, methinks I still have some uh, stuff to get used to. So, um, this game, so it's funny because, you know, again, I, I like these types of platformers. I just don't, none of them really en entranced me in the way that this game specifically did. So here we have, I also didn't realize... I didn't really know what Dark Souls was when I, uh, um, um, when I first played this game. Um, uh, you know, go ahead and laugh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, uh, again, a lot of the stuff that they were borrowing, you know, that they were borrowing from, um, uh, seemed really original to me at the time. Um, Yeah, so that is a better held secret. Um, I would argue. I would kind of wish the game had more like it because you see this, and then you're supposed to go, huh? You know, but you still have to go out and kind of find it for yourself. Whereas most of the time, it's like, oh, there's this wall that looks funny. I'm gonna hit it, you know. All in all, though, it's a pretty minor complaint. Again, I, I'm playing through this, and I'm like, I can't believe I ever had problems here. You know, I, again, like, I was really bad at this game. I had to enlist the friend, to, he's, when I say the friend, whenever my friend, I'm re probably referring to the same guy. Um, I had to enlist his help. Um... Uh, I had to enlist his help to beat Spectre Knight. Bye. 
And now, uh, now Spectre Knight is pretty easy for me. I also weirdly don't have that much trouble on the Iron Whale. Or at least I don't notice that I do. It's funny because every time I beat this, that... No! There we go. Um, every time I beat this, I'm always surprised at how many times I died on the Iron Whale. Which is always weird because the Iron Whale is kind of, I think it's kind of notorious. Um, and it's certainly, um, um, and again, I die a lot, but I also don't, like, tend to notice it. Not as much as the flying machine. I, I still am kind of, eh, about the flying machine. Um, I hated it when I first played it. Um, again, because it was, it felt like it was impossible. Looking back, it's, it's not that hard. Oh my, oh, are you freaking... Uh, that was... Uh. See, I don't know if it's keyboard controls in general, or if it's just that I am really bad with keyboard controls on platformers. I actually was curious to see if, um, to see if he dropped any loot. You know, if it was, they just don't drop any more loot, or they don't drop loot if you have, if you've already picked it up. So apparently, it's, they just don't drop any more loot. Does that make any sense at all? <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I accidentally hit D. This game also looks amazing. Again, it has a rose-tinted glasses version of nostalgia. Um, just gonna bounce over this guy. True, sh true practitioners of chivalry. Oh no! Freaking! Ugh. True practitioners of chivalry only. Um, only uh, this always happens this is like I get I get flustered and and then I you know mess up true followers of chivalry only kill for profit not for not for any other reason Way. Even if I die, I can still get all the stuff back. Yeah, I got the thing over here, right? I think I did. And if not, well, it's been going on. This level's been going for a while, really long enough already. I should have just gone here and then walked back, and then... So here we have the Black Knight. The Tower of Fate. Steal thy shovel. So it's funny because, um, this is actually really interesting because if you go back and fight this guy again, um, he's, or I guess she in this case, um, if I, if I misgender, um, um, any of these characters, it's because I, um, it's because I started playing this before the gender swap mode was added, so it's probably gonna happen. Apologies in advance. So, she, um, if you fight her, uh, 
Ah, I'm not gonna die here probably. I'm I'm used to fighting her using a Toadmanitis or Sparkman. Oh, I, that was a dumb move on my part. Using like basically, if you get a certain item, you can just spam it over and over, and she'll die like instantly almost. So I really like how you don't have to skip through the dialogue again. It's a very minor quality of life improvement, but also a, a big one. I think there's an achievement for... Oh, crap! I want to get... There's a feat you can get for... Um, for killing her with a reflected shot. Or not, I guess not killing. Yeah, there we go. It's funny because normally there's a different for the save her set moments. There's there's normally a different um, uh, or save him. I, yeah, catch him. Um, uh, there's normally a, a different sound that plays, which is interesting. Oh yeah, there's another achievement slash feat. Only you, only you can prevent forest forest fires. I do love this guy. No weapons. We have enough to worry about. Everyone swinging swords around. Oh shoot! I must have skipped that. Oh, he's like, he's like. Basically, he says like. Yeah. Keep doing that. Um, uh, basically, he, um, basically, he says, like, uh, oh, you only have a shovel. That's no weapon. So I do want to... Alright. I always I always kinda try and get as many meal tickets as possible. Um my first visit to town. Ah, gotta stop pressing enter. That's skip, not... I keep thinking it's gonna be like the equivalent of A. Don't know why. Here, let's see. Uh... Aww. Double trouble soil and shovel. My third eight dollars is used to... I love these. I also love how these are actually like Orum Infinitosa. I don't know about um, if Infinitosa is a real Latin word, but Orum it means gold. Um, Thanato is the god of death. So, and Refu I, I think Refutatum is just a Latin sounding, you know, Latinized um, version. I guess Latin. It, it's supposed to sound like ref Refutation. Oh wow, 17 minutes. That's. I, I always feel like I play this game for. I always feel like this game is longer than it is. So, I'll do that later. Okay, I just, I'm sorry, esteemed viewers, but I have to show you all these puns. Hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. That king, that queen knight, give her an inch, she thinks she's a ruler. 
I traveled with some horse adventures, but they're also negative. I'm sorry, these are so bad, but I love them because they're so bad. I was afraid as I jumped over the bottomless pit, but then I got over it. <laughs> Wondered why the Black Knight shovel was getting bigger, then it hit me. Hey. Sure, your quest will pay off in spades here. I love that, that like, text font, the emphasis text version. Goatitian? He may feast on valuable meal tickets, but overall, he's not a bad fellow. Super Skeleton. I think Super Humorous Ribbing. Double Pond! Twice the badness. Bar performs on the street because when he decided he can't conduct himself. I. Ah, uh, get it? Broken swords are pointless. Plague Knight is... Plague Knight is a... is very... is... One of the reasons I think I like Plague of Shadows and Plague Knight is, um... Get it? Because she has vials. She was the lady in the other room. For those of you who don't know, the one I went into and then immediately left. Um... Because I think Plague... I always attach myself to characters that I see myself in. And I see myself into Plague Knight a lot. Totally fruitless. What a groundbreaking idea! Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, raises um raises the is a wandering boss. One of the, one of the Kickstarter rewards. Um, uh, the nightclub in the mines. Uh, substance. The iron wears a submarine. If you didn't know. The Baz. These will probably make some more sense when... I'd ask for a tip, but a well to a pun is its old reword. So yeah, there, that was another reason why I did it. I wanted that feat. Yeah, and I also know where a lot of the secrets are. All right, so we're gonna go and give those these other music sheets I got back. Um, uh, oh shoot, I'm not gonna try and get that one. There's an achievement for bouncing on the hoop for five consecutive seconds straight. It is way harder than you'd think. Are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up- Okay, I love the animation of him being like, hmm. I love these towns. Yeah, th yes they do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This game is really good at teaching without tutorials. Ba -ba 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 Oh yeah, so then they randomize the puns. So I have just barely, I just barely under what I wanted, what I needed for the um, uh, fishing rod, but that is okay because. I'm just gonna try and get that achievement every time I, yeah. Again, it's harder than it looks. Um, uh... So here we got the Trapple King. 
Okay, the Icor, I like the invincibility and the treasure thing. I, I never use them, though. Um, just because getting all your health and magic back is... Okay, I love this dance. Um, uh, but the one in Plague, and Sh in Plague of Shadows is better. Um, uh, I mean, what what words are uh, words fail me to? I can't. I cannot describe this utter, this sheer and utter beauty. Don't worry, you don't have to. I, you won't have to watch this every time I, re I, um, I refill. There's so many little quality of life things in this game that I love. All right, another feat. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I also want to. How do I? Um, how do I, how do I use, I'm trying to use my, um, here. Ah! Um, uh, um, L? What the? Sorry about this, esteemed viewers. Um, back. Keyboard. Uh, um. Uh, how do I use the fishing rod? Okay, there we go. Up and J. He gets so pissed. And it's funny because he seems to immediately forget about it. So now we have another one. I generally like to spend all the cash I can. Because, um... Ha uh... <laughs> Which is kind of funny considering what happens in Plague of Shadows with the Chapel King. Um, I try to spend as much cash as I can um, on... Uh, oh, well, I'm in town because those upgrades stay permanent and I can't lose them while I'm on. Alright, so we are going to now go and do... I think we're going to do Pride More Keep, I did it again, and then, um, uh, and then do the, um, thanks again to my friend for showing me this. I also love this design, these platforms, because they make it super easy going, they make it, e it, it means it's easy to, to go there, but hard to, um, uh, um, but hard to go back, um, uh, Um, I also love, I always, you know, I kind of always, there's the Yacht Club logo. I always go to the, um, uh, um, here we go. Um, I always go to, uh, um, in the wrong direction for the first time on games like this. Um, 
But as far as I can remember, this is the first Shovel Knight. Uh, this is the first. This is the only level um, that has something like that. I'm actually kind of glad I played this game before I, um, before I, you know, sometimes I'm like, sometimes I'm glad I get my, my first reaction to games on, on recorded, and then sometimes I'm glad, for a game like this, well, one, I, since I can play it better, I can actually play and talk at the same time, which is something that's not always easy, especially in a game like this, um, alright, there's nothing there, um, uh, Okay, I'm actually am gonna do. I'm probably am going to show you the one, the one time and the one way I break checkpoints um, in a second. gonna do we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go back here and then we're gonna accidentally run into the guy which was not intentional and then interesting I for some reason I thought he would respawn at first I thought he didn't and I was like no that doesn't make any sense why wouldn't he respawn and then uh, I guess I remembered right the first time I know that's cheap but, I don't know, I thought it was fun. I, th I wanted to show it to you with you esteemed viewers. Oh, come on! Huh, does it actually come back if I... Yep, alright. Sweet. No! a bad move on my part. I'm actually kind of surprised I had never tried that before, though. Alright. It's interesting how they didn't change the sprite, because that's that sprite's supposed to be for male show night. Although, it's... If you've played Plague of Shadow, keep it, keep an eye over that, and you... You better hope that I... I uh, uh. Freaking... Escape! Hey, hey, hey. What do I, how do I, there we go. <laughs> so here we got Chester. 
Yes, another pun. So, he actually sells, um... Uh... Are you freaking... Uh... He... <laughs> that was terrible on my part. He actually sells, um, the items in the field where they're, they're more expensive. Um... I keep doing that! Bah! Take it out on that random bug person. To, I got overzealous. Oh well, I'll just... At least there's less ground to recover. It is actually interesting. I, one, one criticism I heard from a game design podcast whose name I can't remember um, was that with Dark Souls, you have to... There's a risk-reward element to deciding... Um, you're deciding whether or not to go back for your lost souls or just try something else. Whereas you don't have that in Shovel Knight, and I half agree. I think that you kind of do have to, because it, it, you do have to des decide in Shovel Knight. It's just, it's just the, the, you know, it's not a difference of going to an entirely different area and fighting the entire zone. It's just going off the beaten path to an optional area. Or, I mean, well, that's obviously presuming if they, if you, that's obviously presuming you died in an optional area, so. Again, I, I half agree, but I think it's an overly simplistic. I was wondering if they disappeared or not. Oh, hey, I broke that. I didn't know you could do that in Shovel Knight. Um... Crap. Frickin' nah! Alright, do they respawn? I don't think they do. Nope. I got over greedy. I love that there's little gems hidden here. Not worth it. Actually, now that now it is worth it. You know, I'm just gonna take it. Finish me off, Griffin. There we go. There we go. You get a nice hefty sum as payment for killing the griffin. And we're gonna, yeah, do the thing, I know. I don't know, it's it's something I can only really do here, Primal Key. Primal Key, I remember, I also had problems with this level. And this is by far the easiest level it was in the Plains of Passage. I, you know, if you think I'm bad now, you should have seen me when I first played this game. Oh, hey, I did it. I didn't think that would be possible with only one of the flying rats, but I guess I was wrong. Propeller, propeller rats. 
Dang! Goddamn ceilings! So I'm actually curious as to what, I mean, I guess it's probably wall. You know, there's a wall that, like, between there, but I, I don't know. I find it interesting to think that that's the one thing you can't break. I thought there was a music sheet up here. Oh well, guess they thought wrong. Oh, come on, really? Uh, oh, well. I like fighting these guys. It feels almost like a duel at some point. Why did I say at some point? I don't know. On some level this is I think what I meant to say. Did I say at some point? I have no idea. I might be going crazy. Maybe I was always crazy. I'm not going to try and get all the fives. I'm going to try and get some of them. Okay, so shovel... Shovel dropping on them apparently breaks them. I... I think I might have known that when I first... When, last time I played, but maybe not. I don't know. Oh, hey, first I want to... Okay, that was not what I intended. Um... Uh, um... Some fishing. I don't think this is a gold fishy. No, yeah, it's a trapple. I actually wonder if it's different dialogue if we like don't have any chalices. <clears throat> oh come on. This part is I remember being so mad about. Hey, you did it first try! If you don't count all the other tries I previously made. These guys are like almost mini bosses. Queen Knight. An interloper is in our midst, begone from our throne room knave. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real queen. I just love how like over the top this 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 story is. The enchanter saw me for my fabulously regal self and now all bow before me. 
You're not but, but a decadent dandy. Prepare to face justice. Shovel justice! Silence! Again, I'm I'm finding myself wondering why I ever had prob had problems with this and struggled with this game. Although I still haven't done the feat for beating the boss without taking any damage. Got more to go. There's one of them down. Ba 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 Oh yeah, we gotta do this one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go to the village and spend my gold first. Again, just as a precaution. You can say, it kickstarted my career! Alright, I have enough to buy your stupid meal ticket. There we go. And we got a, another pip of life. It's kind of interesting how they didn't go with like apples or hearts or something to represent life. So here we have the random, I think these were inspired by Mario 3, I want to say. I'm actually not familiar with a lot of the games this is based on. Again, I kind of have a tendency to avoid 2D Mario's like the plague. I just thought, and I'm probably this is pro I'm probably going to regret thinking this out loud, but I I kind of just thought it would be fun to um. Uh, do a Kaizo Mario playthrough. Um, yeah, again, I'm probably going to regret saying that. I guess if you want to see it, um, um, just bother me enough and I will maybe uh, um, uh, and it just, it just bother me enough, and I will maybe acquiesce. I definitely, I'm never gonna promise I'm gonna finish it. But I might, I don't know. Alright, I wanna...
I was not expecting to do that well my first try. But hey, I did. So that's cool. And now, that seems like a good place to end my first episode of my series on Shovel Knight. Ugh. Alrighty. Um, so next time, we're gonna do to the, go to the most Halloween appropriate uh, month of the game of the game um uh, wait oh oops actually before we do that i want to turn it into this music sheet all right now <laughs> all right so thank you for watching esteemed viewers um if you want to be notified when the next episode goes live and i'm definitely planning on doing another one um, I'm gonna record a Night in the Woods video, planning on it later tonight. Um, if you want to be notified about things like that, um, I sometimes do talks videos, and sometimes I just do, uh, most of it's analytical let's plays like this one. Um, but anyway, um, uh, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe, so if you like the video, give it a like, it'll really help out the algorithm, uh, and I can, trust me, I can use all the help I can get. Um, if you, if you, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, that'll also help me out with the algorithm. Um, uh, uh, again, subscribe and ring the, that'll also help me out with the algorithm, and you'll get notified when new videos go live. Um, uh, share it with anyone you think will like it, um, and, uh, yeah, um, oh, Twitter and, um, uh, Letterboxd accounts in the description, and, yeah, so, I have been Jekyllstein Gray. Um, thank you for watching, esteemed viewers, and, um, oh, wow, that was longer than I thought, and it was the, okay, whatever, um, uh, I will see you another time, Bye bye